All right, today we're going to be checking out Editor Utility Widget. Uh, so for anyone that doesn't know what an Editor Utility Widget is, uh, here's an example. Is These are some tools that I use where I just, they're shortcuts. They're basically tools you can make in the editor, and you can make really advanced ones. These ones are just really simple, so I can set things really fast, where if I want, if I want to cap it, I can just hit that. If I want to uncap it, I can hit that. If I want a screenshot, instead of typing it in, I can just hit the screenshot button. And there you go, I have a screenshot. Um, you can use these for all sorts of things. Um, there's also editor utility action, and I'll be covering in another video. So let us make a editor utility widget. Uh, the first things first, what I want to say is, uh, so editor utilities are going to be right here. So we do editor utility widget. Okay, so let's make a, um, so first things first, here, let's make a button that we can hit. Um, I'm gonna say let's add some text, okay? And now, we've got a button. Okay, we got a button. Let's see, what is this gonna do? I think, uh, we're gonna start off with something easy. We're going to FPS 30. And this is a really simple one, because all we gotta do for this is we can just execute, um, the console command. Um, and we can call anything else for, that we can normally call from the editor. Uh, so that console command is t.max fps. And now the editor will lock down to 30 when we press our button. So let's run that. Let's do a dat fps. As you can see, my editor is currently, uh, locked to 60. So we're going to run this and hit fps 30. Now, as a lock of 30. Here, I like to, I like to have this as a button rather than just typing it in. Most of the time I run the run, uh, off real time. But this just makes it simpler when you want to test and don't want to have it necessarily be where your editor's set up to always run at 30. Um, okay, so now let's expand this. So we're going to edit. Let's make another button. We're going to copy paste. All right. So our new button, we're going to call it delete selected. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get selected actors. Now what this does, it gets the actors in the world, which the world in this case is this. Um, and it's the editor world specifically. Uh, so what, what are we going to do when we select this actor? Let's, for each, because we can have more than one selected actor, we're just going to do something simple. You could run a check on it. You could make sure that its material is applied. You could do all sorts of things. You can apply a different material. But for now, let's just delete this. So we're going to select, we're going to delete whatever actor is selected, right? Uh, now, granted, this isn't something you might necessarily need as a button, because it's very easy to select stuff. But you can imagine... Uh, but what if we expanded on this and made it where we delete of a specific type? Something that I like to do, uh, and it's a pretty easy button as well, is let's just get this. Let's uh, get the selected actors. Um, now let's get just the first one. And then, and this is where we could do some interesting things, because you can spawn things at an actor. You can have it where you're fundamentally doing anything with the information you're getting, right? So we're gonna then do a distance check distance, and I'm just gonna get the uh, Unreal subsystem. From here, we can get level viewport, which if you're on an older version of Unreal, specifically Unreal 4, um, the editor uh, subsystem may not be, be in that version. Uh, this is something that you can do in both UE4 and UE5. But they've expanded to use more, to expose more subsystems of the editor. But let's get that. So this is the viewport, the get level viewport camera. So that's this. This is the view that we're looking at the world through. And then from here, let's just text. And uh, we're going to set the text on here. Uh, set text. So this is going to tell us the distance to any object in the world. And this can be used. Um, just to sort of get your scale right and stuff like that and to kind of learn more about distance in the world. Um, hopefully that gives you an idea somewhat of what, really I just want it to be a video where this can get you started using it. Uh, and then from here, explore and go further. There's honestly lots of examples. But generally, if you think you can do it, this you can. It's terrible. Um, so yeah, basically if you, if you think you can do it with this, you probably can. If you can access something... If you can access information in the editor, most likely you can access it in here as well. Um, they've exposed a lot of the engine editor side to editor scripting, where you can do a lot. You can make your own classes. You can, uh, you can do a lot of automating with this. Um, we can save the map. We can load into another map if we wanted to. 
So you can make it where this is like your map system, you know, instead of using the content browser, you could make this where you just have widgets that are materials you want to select and then drag and drop them on the world. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. All right. And the last thing to note is if you're doing anything destructive, like, say, deleting a mesh like we did in the beginning here, you actually won't be able to undo that. That's the way that the editor works. Uh, it works on this transaction system that is also exposed here that you can use the undo um, transaction. And when you just call an event, uh, it bypasses all that. So what we want to do is we create a transaction or begin a transaction, and then we can end that transaction. And then there's also other things like that for the object. Um, hopefully this is a good video that just gets you started on the path to make some really cool tools. If you guys make anything, feel free to um, drop screenshots or things like that uh, in the comments. I'd love to see what everyone makes based on this. And yeah, I hope that helps you look into it. Uh, I know I kind of was all over the place. Uh, I apologize. Uh, I'll be making probably another video on editor utility actions. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It really helps. Uh, and I will be back making some videos. Uh, all right.